everybody welcome back to the channel if you checked out my last uh canic video for the uh canic mete sfx and you have seen my canic tp9 sfx video with the 45 blast compensator install and review then this video right here, if you liked either one of those, and especially if you watched the video for this one, um, I said that there would be a second part. Now, in second part, there's relation to, we did this one right here with the 45 Blast compensator. So today, we have a compensator for this one so what i'm going to do real quick i'm going to get that we're going to open this together i have yet to see it just received it so we're going to go through and do that but first i must ask if you have found this channel that you go ahead and smash that subscribe button or consider it uh give us a like thumbs up and share it with your favorite 2a loving community friend and or family so let's go ahead and let's dive right into this now, I found this company on one of the Canic Facebook pages. It is a company called, I hope I pronounced this right, Wasatch. So, Wasatch, i seen, is uh, selling compensators almost identical to the, can or to the 45 Blast. So, let's see what's in here. Oh, man. So, this is cool. So, they have their own uh, videos, I guess. You can scan the QR codes uh, uh, for the videos that they have. Uh, included in this, they are running a special. We'll open this up and look at it. It comes with a mag extension and then the compensator. There's nothing else in there. So, that's awesome. They send you... Uh, you know, stuff you can get to, look at the directions or whatever, if you need assistance. We'll just set this over here to the side. So here's the compensator. Do you guys want to look at the compensator or the mag extension first? Eh? 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 Let's look at the mag extension. So they're a little promotion right now. If you order any of their Canic uh, compensators, I think this is a plus six? No, plus five. It's got it engraved down in there in the bottom uh, for supposed to attach to the magazines. We'll check this out. That's pretty cool. So I'll set that to the side for right now. All right. So they have three options. You have black, FDE, and a dull. Wow. That's nice. So basically just looking at it. It's comparable. I mean, it's almost, I guess you would say, identical to the 45 Blast compensator. Now, obviously, this is a different, uh, I guess you'd say, firearm. Uh, they have their engravings. They don't on this one. Hmm. All right. We're going to get these Allen screws out, and we're going to go over a quick installation and see how it looks. So we're using standard Allen wrenches. This one right here, I believe, is a 330 seconds. Uh, I'm going to take these two Allen screws off. And be careful, I believe these are all aluminum uh, bits and pieces. Uh, whenever you go to tighten everything back down, that you do not strip everything out. Let's see, what is this one? A little bit bigger. Let's see what size. Nope, not yet. Let's see what we got here. No. Now I'm sure they tell you in their instruction video uh, 
what you have, what you need. So this one is a 764. So we'll go ahead, get these out of here. this on there see how well this fitment is boom on there she goes so let's check it out looks kind of sharp we'll throw these two bottom bolts in here um, to tighten it up get it to clamp on better don't need it all wobbly and wiggly. Hmm. Check this out. Looks like the I hope I don't have to chase any threads uh, for the internet warriors the firearm is unloaded if you want proof of it and just use your imagination there we go a little odd getting started I know the uh, 45 blast was too I guess because it spreads it out a little bit whenever you go to Put it on the firearm. But it's nothing we can't handle. I feel like that one's a little tight, but it's not bad. The color matches really well. I know it'd be really hard to mess up FDE and black, but you'd be surprised, you know, based off what one company may have a slight change in their firearms, you know, the way that they look. I know I've seen uh, compensators uh, previously say the, the, for the whiteout and stuff that they don't even come out looking, you know, the same shade of white. On the white out so I was a little worried about those hmm that was tight coming off let's see if we can huh that's odd right there I don't know if you guys can see looks like it needs to be slid forward a little bit in order for that to seat down into the pick rail so I guess I'm gonna loosen these bolts back up Now again, I didn't watch their instruction videos or anything. I'm just doing this on the fly. So maybe they have a recommendation of do this, do that. But compared to the 45 Blast Compensator, it was a tight fit. You slid it right on. So let's see. See how this sits down in there now. Alright, there we go. Now what I will do is, is go ahead and start these. I'm not going to tighten them down just yet. I'll get my check, make sure everything's okay, and then my... Make sure this is nice and tight and then I'll start tightening these down
Now when I tighten that one down, this started to pop back up. So I'm going to try to tighten these screws down and see if it helps bring that back into its pocket. Which it seems to be. So I'm going to try to loosen these back up because if you can tell here how it kind of pops up on that side and sitting flush on that one. So I'm going to try loosening these up. Let's see if it Pulls this down in there any and it did so I'll go ahead and tighten these up I don't know if there's a torque spec or if you want to use Loctite on it um, I guess that would be in the details if you go to the range with it uh, if the Vibrations and stuff would knock it loose. So, there it is. So, let's do a comparison side by side shot. I mean, they're close to identical. I like the design of the barrel port on this one. That looks pretty cool. So, uh, we'll jump right into this. We'll check out and see how this uh, mag extension works. So, with our mag... Let's see if we can get this pushed down. Get our plate off here. Pop. Slide. No, I'm not going to let that jump out on me. I am going to. Now, I was just looking at it. Didn't watch the video or anything. These set screws... See the little shiny pieces? So that's going to be your pieces that are going to lock everything back in place. Or hold everything in place, I suppose you say. Oh, no. Jeez. Huh. Alrighty then. Now that piece doesn't want to come out. I'm going to assume that that gets left in there. I probably should have watched the video, but. Oh, oh, boom. There it is. There's your mag extension. I should go get a box of rounds and, you know, test this out. Nice. All right. So I guess the big thing would be is to check out the functionality of this, uh, the compensator and the mag extension. Let's put that in there and see what it looks like. Oh boy, that looks pretty cool. I like that. Nice. All right. Well, so I guess the next step should be. Uh, make another video I'll do a comparison you know see how this compensator does and then test it against this one I don't know what do you guys think y'all leave me uh, 
some comments down below and tell me what you think um, you know in comparison of the, the Wasatch and you know it's comparison to the 45 blast should I do a video should I do a comparison video um, even has the Mete lettering in it that's cool I didn't notice that till now uh, let's look over some quick information real quick I'll share with you guys So with the uh, Mete compensator from the Wasatch website, let me zoom out a little bit, um, $189 for that, and right now you can get the uh, mag extension, so it's $189 plus tax, shipping, or whatever. They have it in all black, uh, just straight FDE and dual tone, $189. But if you go over to the 45 Blast site, there's our 210, and you don't get the mag extension. They offer black FDE, two tone, just like the one that we're looking at, and red. I don't know why somebody would put red on the end of it, but that is what it is. So now we're at the end of this one. I uh, hope it didn't drag this video out too long. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know everybody hasn't been enjoying my video uh, of this one right here. So the next step is we need to go out, test them at the range, and compare them. Uh, everybody, I appreciate you, everybody that's tuned in. If you made it this far through the video, I hope it wasn't too boring. I hope it was something that's interesting. Uh, you will see more stuff like this. Drop it down in the comments. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe it helps our channel grow it keeps us going and pumping to uh, crank out more content for you guys but again appreciate you tuning in peace out everybody